Good morning. Good afternoon. Hey, y'all. Uh, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, I want to talk about my little baby right now. Um, and I wish, and I'm talking to all the young women out here to think that they this is the right way to go to uh, snag and keep a fella. Keisha Cole had was dating Antonio Brown, the wide receiver, I think. The one that's got all these issues going on. And things was moving so fast that they they said that she tatted A B on her backside after two weeks of dating. Now we know she had a kid by, what's his name? Uh, she did this show with him. Uh, the basketball player for Cleveland. We know him. Then she just had a second baby daddy who was quite big, uh, younger than her. And um, that didn't work out. Booby Gibson. Now, unfortunately, so... It seems like the money is a little low, so you're going after these people that you perceive because after you had three little boys, you figured you didn't want no boy no more, and you're getting older. Keisha, I remember when you went to court, and the judge found it to be a travesty that you were so uneducated. And I'm not saying this to talk about you and make you bitter or anything. I'm saying this because I want you to sit back and realize that when you've been raised by somebody that is so as toxic as your mom, even though you had a foster mother, the fact of the matter is all that DNA was still in you. Your mama, because you're so connected to her and there's an invisible, imbiblical cord, the fact that you are so, at this point, it seems toxic. Because any woman that has known a man for two weeks and is ready to tattoo his name on her body means that she's surely lacking and she's looking for love in so many places. And I want you to know that you loved, first of all. And not just by your children who think the world of you. But you don't want them to grow up thinking that's the okay way to be. When it comes to a relationship, Keisha. Now, you can say what you want. Nobody got no business saying that to you. But you need an older. Well, and I'm old enough to be your grandma. And so what I'm telling you right now. With all due respect to you. Is sometimes you're going to be alone. It's going to be you and God. And your boys. Because now you got two of them, right? Or you work it on three or whatever. Whatever the situation in the case is. I know you got two, and they're watching everything you do, everything you do, every heartache that you have, every tear that you shed, and it's very important that you give them a blueprint of a woman that is in control of her, at least herself, and not so quick to tattoo somebody's name on their body to feel validated in love. And I know Oakland is hard. And I know you had to come up. But I'm going to tell you one thing. This is not the way to go. And you need to quit this right now. Because I'm not even. Because if that's what you want to do. Fine. I'm concerned about your boys looking at this. And with that being said. I'm going to leave it alone.